Um, my name is Aslam Sharif. Um, I'm the head of funds at Fairway Group. Um, I'm a qualified accountant. I've uh, been in Jersey for the last 14 years. Tell us a little bit about how you came to, to join Fairway Group and and also, you know, what is it that you that you do there? Tell us a little bit about your role and your day to day activity. Yeah, definitely. Um, the way I came to uh, Fairway was an ex colleague at the commission, services commission. He got in touch and then we got chatting and, you know, one thing leads to other kind of thing. Uh, and here I am. Um, six months already. Um, in terms of um, the the day to day of funds, obviously, uh, for a non financial person, the way I uh, explain how what what fund is and what we do is uh, it's a group of people coming together and investing in a group of assets. Um, and these are, these are the people who have the money. They go to the people with the brain and um, they hire people from who can run around and do those things for them so we are the people who can run around and do the stuff the people with the brain uh, could be the investment manager the people with the money is obviously the investors so that's what we do uh, what do we do on a day job day-to-day -day job or right from the initiation uh, and the launch of these structures to continuously administrating them monitoring regulatory filing and then um, buying and selling of assets within those structures and then the money comes back we redistribute it back to the investors and the cycle continues yeah good good answer tell me a little bit about your background um, where you worked previously and tell me a little bit about your um, you know work with the with the commission and you know on what you know, if you if you want to lead into um, how important the Jersey PLC is to to Fairway and 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 to companies um, within that jurisdiction. Surely, um, I came to Jersey 14 years ago, and I came with um, Ernest and Young, so I, I had worked with an audit firm for a long time, um, and then I moved out to uh, to. Um, local trust company where I ran their funds division uh, and then I joined the commission where I worked three years nearly three years um, and during my time at the commission I, I, I got a view of the Jersey PLC so you got the, the view of all the kind of structures especially within the funds space because I was the fund supervision manager there so not only I had to go out and do the visits and talk to the stakeholders, but also you can get a te quick temperature check of what good looks like, what not so good looks like, what are the trends in the in industry, what sort of new business is coming through the door. Um, and during my time at the commission, I visited nearly 32 businesses on the island, which is, which is very fortunate because of my audit background, I think I hit the ground running pretty much. So. After that, I was a bit um, kind of wary about which business I could join and not join because, you know, um, once you see uh, all, all of the uh, range, then you start thinking, oh, my God, you know, uh, what will the next business look like? So that, that is my exposure with the commission. But when, when I was there, I bumped in a lot of great people, with a lot of knowledge and the regulatory uh, understanding they had. And... Uh, have a lot of time for them. To this day, I'm in touch with them. But uh, they do so much work behind the scenes to keep um, the machinery going, the regulatory machinery going, right from dealing with the commission, uh, sorry, dealing with the government, dealing with money valve and the stakeholders, so on and so forth. Consultations left, right and center, legislation changes, international 
um, legislation requirements, so on and so forth. So um, I do have a lot of time for my ex JFSE colleagues. Fantastic! What a what a great um, you know what a great answer. And I think it do like like you say, it does give you that um, backdrop and, and and could really hold you in good stead in in your your current role. Just you know, let let's look at this this current role and and look at what Fairway brings to the table versus other um, companies that are out there. You know, why would somebody pick Fairway when it when it comes to to funds and investments, why would someone pick you guys? We we have a niche in the market where we are in existence for the last 20 years as a company. We are owned predominantly by two individuals who to this very day come to work. So we are owner managed, um, unlike others who have been acquired by private equity. So for us, it's more about the service and the day-to-day um, kind of um, bespoke relationship with our clients. And no, we are not saying that all clients will love us. We, we say, I think it's as horses for courses. So it, it's it's a right fit also. When a promoter goes out and looks for fund administrator, um, it, they're not only like one criteria it goes by. There are a lot of factors, a lot of factors from the ownership to the technological advancements to the um, regulatory exposure to the preference or past experiences. Well, if you ask me why Fairway, again, we are consciously independent. We have um, the the ability to give a bespoke service or tailored delivery, so to say. And um, we cater uh, we cater more so to the first time investment managers who will need a bit more handholding, perhaps the big players would not have so much time to speak with them and do the handholding in the, you know, in the initial stages of the fund cycle. Um, and with my background of the audit and the commission exposure um, and also running um, a fund services team, um, I think um, I have that perspective and an understanding of what are the expectations of the regulator, what are the expectations of the market, the auditor, so on and so forth. And then making a promoter who probably has not so much understanding with how the whole life cycle of a fund, the jurisdictional understanding and the expectations of regulator perhaps um, um, well-placed to offer that service.